All right, so today we are gonna make a recipe out of this cookbook, guys. This is called Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Um, it's a really good cookbook. Um, guy Fira, I don't know if you've ever seen the show. It's on the Food Network channel. Basically, this guy, he goes to mostly diners, but you know, a couple of drive-ins and dives, and checks out the food, and sees how he makes the food, and, and features them on his TV show. So it's really cool. So this is a recipe that I've, a pasta dish that I've tried before. It's really good. It is from a diner. Let me show you. All right, so it's called American Chop Suey. I don't know if you guys ever had that before. It is, um, it's from Red Error Diner. This book is kind of dirty because it's been used. So it's pretty much a, a very simple pasta dish with elbow macaroni with some red sauce, little spices. I mean, it's pretty good. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. I, I really liked it a lot. All right, let me show you, show you how to make this wonderful dish. All right, the first thing you want to do is melt three tablespoons of butter. Then we're going to saute some onions, bell peppers, and garlic. All right, so over medium heat, we're going to add the onion now. So this is one cup of chopped onion. All right, next we're adding one green bell pepper chopped. All right, so you just want to stir it a little bit. So it becomes a little soft, probably about five minutes. I haven't made this dish in over a year, guys. It's so good, I love it. All right, it's been about five minutes. They're kind of soft. Now we're gonna add some garlic. This is two cloves of garlic. And we're just gonna stir it for probably about a minute. So it's been about a minute, we're gonna add some beef. You need one pound of ground beef. Today I'm using grass-fed beef. And you wanna stir it and just break it in, break into pieces until it's not pink inside. All right, so the meat's done. We're gonna add one teaspoon of basil. Also one teaspoon of oregano. And we're gonna sprinkle some black pepper. And also sprinkle some salt. And we're just gonna mix well. All right, the next step, we're gonna add um, some diced tomatoes. This is 14 and a half ounces. All right, we're gonna add some tomato sauce. This is, this is 15 ounces. All right, now we're gonna add a one fourth cup of tomato paste. And this is two thirds cup of tomato juice. And also sprinkle some sugar. All right, we're, we're gonna stir it now. We're gonna stir it and then we're gonna simmer it as I cook the pasta. All right, next we're gonna put a pound of this um, LB macaroni. So when I first made it, I really loved the sauce. I don't want more sauce. The sauce is so good. So what I've done in the past is just take a handful out of the LB macaroni out of the box, which I took a little bit out. Because I love the sauce so much, I want it really saucy, so. We'll wait for that to boil. This is looking really good. All right, the pasta is drained, so what you wanna do is you're gonna add some of the sauce to the pasta. This cast iron skill is pretty heavy, so I don't know if I wanna lift it, but. Then once you do that, you stir it and it's all done, guys. All right, put all the sauce in here. This is what it's supposed to look like. Really saucy. This is how I like it. It's really good. Excited to try it out for you guys. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. We have the pasta dish and the salad. I didn't know, I don't know if I tell you what I had in the salad. This is a safe lettuce mix. I cooked beets last night, like fresh beets. So these are fresh beets. I cut up avocado and tomato, so it's a little bit extra. It's a nice healthy salad. So this dish is called American Chop Suey. It's really good. And then to drink, I have something new. I've been looking for this drink for a while, guys. Guess what I have? You'll never guess. Oh my God. 
cinnamon coat, guys. So I am excited to try this out. Actually, I want to sip it first. Smell. Mmm, interesting. You can taste cinnamon. Hopefully you can taste cinnamon. I got a six pack of these. I think they're like 350. So I'm filming this on a Monday. Monday night. And I'm probably gonna upload it this week. This week is pasta night, so I don't know. I'm probably gonna do my weekly vlog first and then I'll probably edit this video. Not a lot of cinnamon taste, but maybe after I drink it, I'll get more. But guys, right, let's try some of this pasta. I'm so excited. I, I made this before a lot of times. And so let's try it out. I haven't had this in like over a year. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Let's try some of this. Um, Cheese on there. That would be a nice touch. Normally when I make it, we don't really have cheese, but I thought maybe I'll maybe I'll little out of cheese. Try it Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good with that cheese. It's like a hint of cinnamon. It's good though. I like it actually. I like it. Um, let's talk about the salad. It's a nice healthy salad. Today I uploaded my video. It was a vegetarian pasta dish and um, the audio was so bad. I hope that this I hope my mic is okay. Like the audio was like it was too loud. Like when I ate crunchy items, it was too crunchy, too loud. So yeah, I hope that this this video will be good. Do you guys like fresh beets in your salad? Like home cooked beets. <laughs> Beets is really good for you, by the way, in case you don't know. They're really good for your kidneys, actually. Alright guys, I'm super excited to tell you about my day yesterday in San Francisco. I met Running Bear. If you guys don't know, he, when I go live, he's on my, a lot of my live. He's also a YouTuber. And he has three channels. One is Running Running Bear. I think it's like a vlogging channel about San Francisco, that type of stuff. He has another channel where he does gaming, which I haven't really seen. I'm not into games. And this other channel is a drama channel. And apparently he's making a good amount of money on it. So if you like drama videos, you might be into his channel. So I've been following him for a while. I know a friend that works at a pizza restaurant and they saw Redding Bear at a pizza restaurant doing a food review. I'm like, well, cool. So that was last year. So I've been following them at least a year. So we finally met up. We've been wanting to meet up for a while. And he, he sent me a couple of birthday gifts. I thought it was really nice of him. You know, it doesn't make that much money. I just like it's really nice of him, you know. Just lives in the studio in San Francisco, you know. So his birthday is July 15th. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to take him out for his birthday. He's just he's a really nice person. And we've been wanting to hang out for a while. So hey, let's go to San Francisco. Where do you want to go for your birthday? Watch. I forgot the name of the restaurant, but I passed this before. And it was like, it's a really crowded place. It has music and it has like a lot of different foods, like probably like bar foods. It has like burgers, tacos, you know, fish and chips. So that's 
was really excited about going to see him and San Francisco. I haven't been in Pier 39. I was out so happy to was at a restaurant. Pier 39 is my favorite place to go in San Francisco. I just love it. And you have the water view. It's so pretty. Um, you have all the stores, the shops, the restaurants. It's just a really fun place. So I get there early just because I wanted to see what kind of shops they have, what's open. Just I wanted to walk, walk around, you know, before I meet him, right? And so I'm just taking pictures and videos of just like, you know, the restaurants and stores at Pier 39. Just, just for like my blog, because I want to include it in my blog. We couldn't do a mukbang video because the music was too loud. So yeah, I decided to just do a vlog instead, and um, which will be coming up soon. Maybe next week, I'm not sure. Hopefully next week. <laughs> yeah, so there was this really cool store. It was like a, it's called, I think it was like a San Francisco store. So it's like a San Francisco souvenir. It's like you can get San Francisco like t-shirts or magnets. I don't know. So I was, a couple was about ready to walk in. And I was waiting for them to leave. Or actually walk in so I can film. And this girl kept on, you know, looking behind like, why are you filming us? You've been, you've been filming me for a while. Why, why are you filming us? Is there a reason why you're filming me? And I was like, whoa, I, first I wasn't even, I wasn't even filming her up, I, the camera was even on. And I'm like, um, I'm like, I'm not filming you, I'm just filming the store. And she's like, what? I was like, just forget it. I, was, I just, I left, I was like so angry, like, oh my God. I, I don't want, I don't think I need to explain to you why I'm filming something, like, oh my God. I'm walking down because I was just so angry. I, I didn't. I won't give it for them. I was like, ugh, I was like, ugh. some people are just so paranoid. Like, whatever. And of course, a minute or two minutes later, the freaking guy runs after me and he's like, "Give me your phone." And I'm like, "What?" Because I was like, "No, don't please don't do this." <laughs> it's like I want you to delete the footage right now off your phone of, of what you took. You know, the the pictures of us, the videos, whatever. I'm like, I didn't take any pictures. I didn't take any videos of you. I was just taking pictures and videos of Pier 39 because I'm a YouTuber. And he's like, oh, you're a YouTuber? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. I'm trying to just do a little vlog for my video. And I showed him on my phone, here's the pictures. You're not in there. <laughs> and he apologized and he left. He's like, I'm sorry. And he left. It was like, so that's the start of my day, of my, of my Sunday. And I was like, so I was just kind of, I didn't really want to be, but after that, I didn't really want to walk around and see the shop. I was just so disappointed and just, just not happy. Kind of just a little angry, you know. Wasn't feeling really good after that, that happened, that trauma <laughs> to me. <laughs> so I decided to walk. If you guys know where Paris are now, you know the back, there's like the water with the seagulls. I decided just to be like by the water, just to calm my brain until Redding Bear told me, hey, I'm here. And then when he came, I met him at the restaurant, but I was like, <laughs> that was the my day. <laughs> so I had that girl was so paranoid, I wasn't even filming her at all. <laughs> it was like, pretty weird. All right, so I meet I meet Redding Bear at this restaurant, and we walk in. And we eat outside because right now in California, you can eat at you can only eat outside of restaurants. You have to have outside seating, and they did so. There's no inside seating right now in California. So I actually made a reservation at 1 p.m. just in case it got busy. I'm not sure if I really needed one, but... So we looked at the menu. And we've both never been to this place before, so it was really cool to try a new place in San Francisco. I got the fish tacos. It was really, really good. It was really fresh, tasty, a lot of portions. Um, he got the taco salad. He said he loved it. I think he said he freaking loved it. How's yours? I could cry. It is so flippin' amazing. With the really? best taco salad I have ever had. Hands down, the beans are so delicious. So it was so good and fresh. Yeah, and it looked like a lot. That taco salad looked huge. And he got a root beer float, but he said it wasn't the best. He said he has better root beer floats. 
I've had better. So we eat, we talk, you know, we're both kind of shy because we're both shy people. Um, I mean, I know I'm shy. He said he was shy, so we were like small talking, but we're trying to lock up videos and YouTube and vlogging and San Francisco and rent, that type of stuff. It was kind of fun. It was really fun to like meet somebody. I really haven't done at a restaurant with a friend in a very, very, very long time. So it was really nice. My mom went out to Sacramento, but that was like a, two weeks ago or something like that. But it was really nice to like, yeah, no, that's one of the things I want to manifest is more friends, going out, going out to restaurants, just having fun and spending some quality time, you know? So it's really nice. So he did a vlog. He was taking pictures and videos of me eating and just Pure 39. And, and he did a vlog on his channel. So I'm going to leave that link if you want to check it out. Very, very good vlog. I really liked it. It's very precise. It was edited very well. Um, good shots, good shots. And um, the music was like a lot of different music. You know, he, he used a lot of different songs. So, yeah, it's a good vlog. So yeah, after we ate, we decided to walk around. Pretty fair nine. Check out some shops. He bought a few things. I bought a few things. We went to these three different shops and then that had crystals. That was really interesting. I didn't know so many shops had crystals there, so that was kind of cool. I'm like, just asking questions about crystals, so that's kind of cool. So we went to this shop that I, I kind of do like. I think it's called Enlightened. And we were looking at some, he was looking at some bracelets. And he asked what what, what I like. I go, probably the green one. And he bought a crystal bracelet. And he's like, here you go. I'm like, what? You're giving this to me? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, that's so nice. So he gave me a, a nice green crystal bracelet. Isn't that pretty, guys? I go, that was really nice of you. I was like, wow. And then I went to this other store. And he bought something. He's like, here you go. I'm like, what? You gave me something else? Like, wow. So this is cool. It's a um, it's a pin keychain with my name on it. So it's kind of special. So I was like, wow, this is really nice. So funny bear. Wow. And he was like, yeah. He was like, yeah. I'm a giving person. I'm like, wow, that's really cool. That's a good trait to have that you're giving. Then went to the other crystal shop. And um, this, um, we were asking this guy who works there about crystals, about m which one's good for money, and you know, which one's good for health. I'm mean, having some back pain. And for some reason, Running Bear saw this crystal. I forgot the name of it, but I'll, I'll leave it down in the description or down down here somewhere. When I mean, he saw it, he immediately thought of me. And it, is, it is supposed to help with physical pain, and I've been having some back pain, so he bought this for me. <laughs> I know he was new at crystals. I felt like he wanted a crystal, but he didn't know which one he wanted. So I, I told him if you, you know, I'll buy you a crystal. And so I bought him a crystal. So, um, yeah, it, yeah. So it was a really fun day. We were just like, just having fun. Oh, and I got some um, donuts. There's these donuts called Trisha's Donuts in Pure 39. And they make the donuts fresh for you. It's, they're, they're really small, but they're really good. And they put like cinnamon sugar on top of it. And after we got some coffee, and it was just like, it was a perfect day. It was, the weather was perfect. It was kind of cool, but warm, but cool. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed my time. Um, Running Bear was a really nice guy. He just seems just very chill, calm. It's very nice, actually. I was walking back to Bart 
It took me 45 minutes to walk from BART station to Pure Turn and back, so I had a lot of <laughs> walking. But as we were walking back, I just felt very calm, very chill. I think it's being by San Francisco by the water. It's a very nice, calm place to be. Yeah, I definitely want to meet him again. Um, because I, I really need to, I need more nice people in my life. <laughs> it's funny, I've been trying to manifest. I was just writing not too long ago. I want to make more friends and want to go out to restaurants. Yeah, I've been that's one of my goals is to have fun and go out with friends. Look at home. I think I'm a happy person when I have more friends in life and have fun. It's kind of hard to have fun when everything's closed because today is Monday and you see in California a lot of stuff are closing now. Small ones are closed now. And I think offices or businesses that um only our essential have to be open. So they're really closing everything down a lot. It's crazy. So I hope you guys try this recipe out. It's really good. It's from a real diner, actually. It's very kid friendly. When I made it for my um, nephews and niece, they just loved it. They just ate so much of it. They just loved it so much. So if you have kids, it'll be really good. I don't know why kids love it so much. Maybe because it has a little macaroni in it. So yeah, pasta is really good for one person. I have so much to butter, but I might have one more for maybe tomorrow night in a salad. And then uh, I'm going to freeze the rest. And when I went for like cooking, I'll just have a little pasta, defrost it at the freezer, have a little salad. There's my dinner. It's super easy. And pasta freezes really well too. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for watching another video from for me. That's the pasta week. Next week is hamburgers. So I'm not sure. I want to go somewhere to make ha make do the hamburger video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So the people who are, who are participating in the collab, um, I will be posting their videos too on my community board. If you want to check out new people, you can. Alright, okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.